sensors, your proximity sensors, your radar sensors for adaptive cruise control, but also those optical cameras okay. that look at the road. And you know, if you if you told me that Tesla, you know, put 50 people on a team to develop a system that could then send your car to drive to LA by itself, that sounds crazy. But it works. It totally, totally works, and it wow. is freaky. Wow. Um, so I sat in the changing driver's seat. Changing lanes and stuff. Changing lanes. You no. sit in the driver's seat, and the cruise control button switch, which is just like your light switch, your turn signal. You flip it, and you flip it again, flip it twice, and then two lights turn on, and it basically is smart adaptive cruise control. So, on that's the, how you wake up Skynet. Yeah, uh, <laughs> if, you, if you activate a hundred of them, dun, then it's a fleet. Dun, dun, you do it dun. three times. It would be and amazing. It goes and finds it'd be amazing if you do it twice and it just goes, starts going. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. I'm Connor. getting a knocking sound. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just the term. It's in the trunk. It's fine. It's John Connor's not it anywhere near the freeway. You hear Sarah Connor's voice. This if you can teach a man, right, if you can teach a machine exactly. to love, then maybe there's hope for us after all. Well done. Um, <laughs> Full marks, Norm wins. Oh. So it, it looks at the lanes and it can see the markers, and you take your hands off the steering wheel, That's terrible. off the pedal, off the the brake, and then you can say, "I want to change lanes," and it will change lanes. So you signal the turn signal. If you touch any three of those, does it give back to your control? So if you hold on, so the steering wheel actually still turns, so it's still. But you can override. So you can override. So it's like okay. force feedback. You can just grab it, or if you tap the brake, it gives you full control. Wow. If you tap the accelerator, it gives you full control back. So we're all comfortable with the idea, you know, maybe in 10 years, in 15 years of self-driving, fully autonomous cars. We are it right now. We are fully the passengers. Right. Right. And and when you get into the car, maybe it's Google's car. There won't even be a steering wheel in their car because they don't even. They right. No, I've been reading system. about that. That it's a bad idea to have a steering wheel in a in an autonomous car because you're not paying enough attention to for that to be useful to you. Well, and exactly. if, it's, if it's mechanically connected and it's actually turning, you could hurt yourself if it needs to swerve or something like right. that. So to be in the full mindset of a passenger, if you trust the car, that's gonna be fine. If everyone trusts the car. You know, statistically, there will be fewer accidents. But until we get there, we're gonna be in these stopgap situations where you have cars at a boat, right. where you can drive yeah, it, yeah. and optionally, you can yeah. have the autopilot. And that state of being in the driver's seat, where you feel like you should be driving, but you aren't, but you're also kind of a, you could be a passenger, yeah. Yeah. that is the weird limbo state. That that is, I, I want that, I want that experience. Can because, you that yeah, we could have, totally. Because you can imagine, you can trust computers 80% of the time, yeah. maybe even less, it's a beta product right now. But if you're going down six hours to LA, you're, there's no way with that on you're going to be fully concentrated but, on the road. But I mean, I'm going to be honest, by the time I hit Grapevine and start going up the giant mountain, if I'm, if I haven't gotten out of the car and walked around some, I'm having, I'll have a hard time being fully conscious of the road then. But you'll be so like, I wonder if there's improvement. natural flavorings in this mango lassi as you're yeah. driving. What is, yeah. what's it, what is on Twitter today? Hey, <laughs> my wife texted me 18 times. I wonder if it's anything important. <laughs> right. Like, um, the idea that Tesla tells you that even with this feature on, you should pay your full attention to the road as if you were still the driver. It's just the lawyers talking. Oh, That's wait. not reasonable because your brain, if you're not second to second focus on driving you just can't be as engaged and sorry we buried the lead first of all let me just say that i also got to drive in a tesla last week i was in la and my Ooh. friend lloyd ron let me drive his tesla wow. and um i'd be afraid to drive lloyd's tesla no that was great it was awesome um and he had me like back up he had me like back off the cars ahead and then goose the throttle and holy hell oh, that's the that's oh, yeah. amazing yeah. but I'm totally bearing the lead i was at spacex last week i got to see some of the rocket factory which is incredible.